Beginning with the twice to be defending champions, Dallasau Lady Spikers. Number 13, Aduke Olunsanya. Number 15, Tin Tianzon. Number 2, Desiree Cheng. Number 10, Machoy Panon. Number 11, Kim Kiana T. Team captain number 9, Kim Fajardo. Bear Libero number 5, Don Macantili. And the head coach of the Lady Spikers, Ramel De Jesus. And now, starting for this season's hosts, the UST Tigresses! Number 10, Alex Campanos! Number 5, Carla Sandoval! Number 14, Tim Francisco! Number 18, Rhea Menezes! Number 9, E.J. Laure! Team captain number 16, Sissi Rontina! Here's starting libero number 2, R.J. Rivera! And the head coach of the Tigresses, Emilio Kung Fu Reyes Jr. The veteran who's done it all, Coach Ramil, against the uh, second year coach, Coach uh, Kung Fu, Coach Ramil, of course. 243 <laughs> wins and 65 losses in almost two decades of uh, and all of course all the championships belong to him and unbelievable uh, resume for coach Ramil as we get things going for the final four here DLSU twice to beat USD back in the final four looking to force a rubber match we're here at the Araneta Coliseum And Desiree Cheng, whose confidence is at an all-time high. Starts us off. And welcome to it here on SNA and SNA HD. Easy take for D. Baron, the dive, Rivera sets it up for Laure. Laure goes cross court, Makandili pops it right back up. And early action here, and the Tim fans getting Tiamzon. into it right away. And Tim Tiamzon, another one of those sleeper attackers for LaSalle. Number 18 in scoring Tim Tiamzon so far this year. 117 points. And really she has stepped up to the plate in the yeah. absence of Dumasili and of course yeah. Aragala. Very consistent to it. She's not about the numbers. I think Tim Tiamzon is about timing. When she comes up with those attacks, it, it's very timely. Highly efficient. Yeah. Kim unable to That's save like that, USD. and now they get the first point for USD. Final four. As we check in with Bea Escudero from the LaSalle side. Boom and Ronnie, although the Lady Spikers fell short, ending that second round record with that number two seed, that is certainly That's behind them, especially so as these girls enter the final four with a clear mission this afternoon. Now, team captain Kim Fahardo expressed that she and the rest of the Lady Spikers are keeping in mind that this would be a battle if he wants it more. So, the need to exert double the effort will be all up to them. Now, in preparation for this afternoon's matchup against USD, the girls said that given the two weeks, it was more than enough time to recollect, adjust their plays, and improve on their individual skills because the key will be solely on consistency that they show on the floor. So, as we kick off this afternoon's matchup, the Lady Spikers are ready to show everyone in the Coliseum a more determined set of players and to play with a great amount of attitude. More on the Lady Spikers later on. Back to you, Woman Ronnie. Thank you very much, Bea. The team ahead by one. Rontina finds a crack in that wall. And this is something that they have been able to solve off LaSalle in the first two matches. LaSalle imposing with 21 kill blocks the two wins versus USD. And Jan, Papasok si Cabanos at si Picar. Para pasahin yung potensya ng De La Salle. Tim Francisco is the first off the bench for USD, not Chloe Cortez. Coach Kung Fu's uh, 
stays with that ploy and we'll see what happens as Francisco tries to unleash a bomb there Fajardo gets it back Laure rejected Sandoval who is also a surprise package for Coach right, Kofu right, today right. in the final four a rejection from the U.S. team block but it is out so that means it is LaSalle point LaSalle ahead 3-2 as we go to Angelique Mann. at the end of season 7 Coach Kofu promised the return in the final four and finally today is the realization of that promise while the road to its fulfillment proved to be a challenge woman coach Ronnie Coach Kofu had metaphorically compared their journey to a boat ride going through stormy seas equaling a shaky start for the Golden Tigers as this season to finding their stability and sailing rhythmically amidst a few more huge waves along the way it was through following their leader that they were able to synchronize themselves and with another huge wave along their way a full preparation was employed from checking in again with their sports psychologist to having intense trainings over which EJ Laure had successfully joined in immediately shaking off her sprain scare from last game so coming to this game the coach's final reminders to the team having their first taste of the final four remain afloat don't focus on the occasion just enjoy and play the game boom and coach Ronnie thank you very much and I'm sure that's also coach Kung Fu's message to himself I really <laughs> feel his demeanor has changed from last year to this year coach Ronnie we've always known him to be that feisty army guy you know but this year it seems that when he says to have fun it also comes from him it starts from him the way he manages the girls is that it's been very different this year I think the relationship has already been built he, he has uh, grown with his players right. and they have uh, celebrated that maturity with a final four stick but kung journey ang tingin ni coach Kung Furito, they have to navigate the perfect storm because right now they will face a perfect storm in the De La Salle Lady Arch. And the net defense of La Salle has oh, been yes. stellar again. 6-3 is the score. This is the biggest lead so far. La Salle has it. One point for EJ Lauri, one point for CC Rondina. Right now, US team needs to compose themselves as La Salle has the ability to pile up uh, points early and build an insurmountable advantage early in the match. That's another thing that will be key in this match, of course, one is that composure, especially for girls who are experiencing the final four for the very Totoo, yeah. the it, crowd, the venue. Yes, this is the big stage. Yep. Tinitignan ko rin sa Lasal, yung remnants ng core nila from last year's uh, finals appearance. Oh, no, buo pa yan, kahit pa paano. Oh, pero si Desiree Chai, wala last year, oh. dahil nalasaktan. Pero sa USP, na talaga. But she was here the year before. Correct. Diba? Oo, oh, oh, in that losing run was Ateneo. Manos underhands this one, Masado Mababa. Three ball, four point lead. Cabanos keeps it up. Rivera will go back to Rondina, goes cross court, but it's wide. And that is the biggest lead of the match. La Sala ahead by five, eight to three. Inside, you have another call this year, and uh, it's a wonderful player matchup that we're going to look at here. The open hitter, the open opposite spiker. Kiana D, the uh, former or reigning finals MVP, right. may, and of course the former captain of the Golden Tigers is EJ Lauder. The parehong uh, homegrown, ika nga, itong dalawang uh, Correct. UAP stars natin, two of the top uh, scorers right now in the competition, and two key players for the respective schools and their bid to make it to the finals. Continuing the serve in So it's 8 3. Five point lead, early lead for La Salle. Technical time up, just what we are coming out of. A little bit over received. Cabanos makes something out of it. Makandili will go to Fajardo. And that sails out. The former USD standout. Oh, oh naman, ilan championships yan. Para sa team ng USD High School. That's Coach Hans. Coach Hans yes. oh, of the De La Salle Green Booters. A multi-title uh, coach for the De La Salle football team. Lalaban ng women's team sa final. And every now and then, commentator. Oh, naman. Rebound play para dito sa La Salle. They're not allowing USD consecutive points. They're trying to impose their quick pace. Laman dito sa defensa ng USD. Kung titignan mo, first 13 points, napakabilis ng mga rallies na ating nakikita. Yanadi, 934. Cabanos again underhands this one. This is a first ball problem which led to that. And Coach 
Kung Fu will call a timeout at the 10-4 mark, 6-point lead, biggest of the match. What do you want to do? Why don't you go over to the back? Why don't you go over to the back? Let's go over to the back. Don't go over to the back. Let's 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 go over to the back. Tatapon natin sa labas. Huwag tayong malaban-laban. Maintindihan. Okay. Sampasa lang ulit. Bumutuli lang sa akin. Patakbihin nyo naman. Okay. Huwag mo na masyadong taas sa kanya. Si ka lang. Si. Tama. Kaparami lang sa kanya. Yung size natin. Wala lang. Stoker ka tayo. Then four is our score. Error so far to both teams with two. But uh, it is the six-point lead. And the big score is what we're looking at right now. As D continues oh. to serve. Uh, first yes. service error. USD needed that break. That's the lead to five. Let's see if they'll play better right now because LaSalle seems to be a well-oiled machine even, even after a two-week break. Well, you know, Coach Reveal will never let down. Whether it's uh, any kind of Christmas break, Holy Week break, yun ang pinakamahirap eh. Yung uh, parang meron kang between season, yung in season. Pero nasa post season na to. But he's so well known for that. You talk to all of the former players. He's so well known for all of this off season stuff. Comes with his experience, vast experience. Once again, Lasal with a six point lead. This allowing USD from consecutive points. And they're continuing to play almost seamlessly. Laban dito sa Oste. And a couple of service errors to give a couple of points to USD. Now, USD cannot make the same mistake that they did in National University. Start really slow. It's, it's never a guarantee that you can come back every time. Maganda, may paghuhugutan ka, paminsan-minsan. But if it becomes a habit, Coach Ron, that is the dangerous thing. Especially against a team that knows how to win, huh? which is uh, the Green Archers. Double serve. Shane. Laure. That's the specialty of the house. And Coach Kofu appreciates it. Kinaya pa. Thumbprint of Rasmol over that last point by USD. Excellent dig, enabling Cabanos to go to her open hitter. Yet, at kung titignan mo, hindi high set yung ibigay dito ni Cabanos. DJ is so good at that cross-court front line. Correct, correct. Kill. And the faster than the blockers yep. can set up that wall. Baron able to get it through even with a low set. 12-7 is our score. Bufardo making sure that USD has a hard time breathing. The South's offense is instant replay, showing that play again. This room from the other side. Dina is a rare to manual. And Dina is a Madre Baron. This is a Malita blocker. This is with Dina. Full rotation of Pupaya. Desiree Chang back on the service deck. Laure again. And she goes there again. This time with a little bit of the help of the net. No one able to shadow E.J. Laure. I think the ankle is fine. You look at uh, Jelly Araneta. UP and US. Bobby is our score. E.J. trying to block it. They go back to Riri. Sends it to the other side easily. Fajardo. Able oh. to make something out of nothing, Coach Ron. Just understanding the strength of her, her teammates. Once again, very precise with her passes. Yeah. Okay, tamo. Parang broken play na ito eh. But somehow turned out still to be a good assist. Para dito kay Team Fajardo. We left to five once more. Friends, I call that accidental offense. And uh, sa kanya, hindi. Yeah. It came exactly. Sa kanya, bilis mo paa. At basa niya kung nasa niya mga decisions. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Coach Ron, bilis. This one's out. EJ powering through so far. She is leading USD with four points. He talks about the fact that Laure and Rondina have been kept at bay by LaSalle's massive net defense. I believe 12 point scoring average on the uh, high scoring players. Laban sa defense ng LaSalle in the first two matches. He is four. That's just so good. 
Young Jordan with a perfect first ball, which leads to the perfect kill for Majoy Baron. And a Gatorade spike of the game, but again, it is Kim Fajardo really making things hum for LaSalle. And also getting the benefit of having the number one receiving defense. You never see well, magandang first ball mo, kadalasa pag ganyan ka usa yung setter mo, magandang atake. Cabanos goes back. It's off a fingertip, and it's alive. Jang with the attack. Return to sender. And the USD fans pretty happy behind us as they cut the lead down to four. And this is something that has to be a constant for USD. Effort with their net defense. They've been overwhelmed by the best blocking team in the first two matches. But it can spill over into the final four face-off. USD is down there as the seventh blocking team. Kagandaan lang dun, dun sa huling dalawang laro nila, sumipa yung blocking ni Riri Menezes. Especially Menezes, correct. Duka Gonsanya, showing that she can also step up to the plate para dito sa Dela Sal. No question. And again, another, another girl getting Gama. Yung parang a second chance and a second life with Lasal. Yung hugging the line, like embracing the opportunities given to them this year. And she absorbed 15 points in our field. As we go back to CC. This time, him unable to handle the heat if, behind that. If there were any signs of nerves for your team, parahin dun sa mga unang mga rallies. Pero sa ngayon, the way they attack, the way they execute and fight back, you can say that they're really all out in trying to stay close. And the fan favorite, Dindin Patras, did not start today. She's off the bench. Of course, Alina Butari. Also has done a splendid job alternating the right. Alex this year. Tandem playmaking. Yep. Para dito kay Coach Kung Fu. Dun Tim Pacquiao had that final point versus Enyu. Adili. A rare first ball error for Don. And that lead is down to three. Courtesy of a PLDT ultra fun serve from the always smiling Alina Bicar. No taste of the lead para dito sa USD so far. From, from a high of six points. The lead down to three right now, but it is a lead yard. Don is judging that first ball. Go back to Don. Hinabul na naman ni Kim. Nagawa ng paraan ni Dez Cheng. It's a stare down from the net. From Dez Cheng to give them a four point lead, 16 to 12. Belasal ahead by four. And the, uh, the aforementioned Don Magandili. And the numbers that support this Libero's uh, job this year. The reigning best Libero of 6 on 78. No doubt, yung kanyang pagiging numero uno ng uh, best receiver, eh, malaking sirkreto kung bakit ang Lasal ay muling nakabalik sa Final Four. At namumuro na naman. Kung sakasakaling makalusot sa USC for another final appearance. So Donato and Evelyn Makatini appears. He's had a chance to talk to him between these broadcasts. Makatini pops it up. Fajardo, again, very precise in her toss to Dez Cheng, who is just feeling it right now. That is the perfect description for Nito K. Kim Fajardo, precise. Very quick transition, converting from defense to offense. Hirap na hirap tapatan. Is there a little warning from uh, our first referee from Santa Velarde? That is what's true on your screens earlier. A easy over, well not an easy over, but a free ball for LaSalle. Saved there by Laure. Back roll. That's too low. And that's a six point lead once again. The biggest of the match and Coach Zumbu will call another timeout.
Dinidepensa na tayo. Dandahan nila natin makukuha natin. The Closer. I used to call her The Closer. One of the best ever. Oh, it is really one of the most unassuming killers the US has ever had. It continues to be with her peak performance up to now. Incredible player. Aisa, Aisa. It doesn't hurt that she's a lefty. Correct, correct. And after that timeout, Lasalle now establishes the biggest lead of the match in 1912. Yes, he threatened. They trim the deficit to three, but once again, Lasalle's composure, vast experience coming into play, rebounding with a cluster of points, and right now, seven points ahead and only six points away from winning set number one. Dami ng ugot ni Coach Kungfu dito, Kate Verai now off the bench, replacing the starter, Carlos Sandoval, earlier Carlos Sandoval. The car goes to Pacas, masyado mababayan for her taste. And UST has been scrambling here in set number one. They've had moments, but they could not sustain it. It is Lazar in the lead by seven. Pacres again. Set back. Laure checks the defense. Lazar with a chance. They go for a quick. Duque was there. Andili. That's four touches if I'm not mistaken. No, a crossing on uh, Obunsanya. Disjointed attack para dito sa De La Salle. Another free point para dito sa UST, but they just cannot rely on the mistakes of the Lady Archers. And they're going to come closer. Right now, the deficit still stands at six points. Lola there. Cheering on from San Francisco. Too high of a push for Cheng. Laure. Kate is sent back. Wow, that net defense. Of Lasal, unbelievable fortress set up by Lasal. Another offensive block para dito sa Lady Archer standing again, then frustrated. UST and right now the lead once again is at seven for Lasal. Cheng has been strutting here in set number one. It's always a sign of confidence when you see players do that kind of stuff. Laure. Again, Bacchus all way underneath the ball. She has not had a clean hit today so far. Again, final four action is very different. And uh, nobody in this team, other than Pamela Stimosa, was not played so far. Not played. Has any kind of experience in collegiate final four. As you see, Vanessa is on your screen. She has vowed to come back next year also for UST. For the delight of the UST fans. Good first ball right there. And that's what a good first ball right. can do. And that is something that UST needs to do consistently. For De La Salle, they have three players in the top ten in block. And Jansi Majoy Baron and Jansi Duca Bonsani and of course Kim Kianati. Still a 7.8 para dito sa Lady Archers at 21-14. CC and Alex Cabanish are getting ready to check back in here for UST for one last run. They're down seven. Still alive. The joust won by Cheng. It has been a set to remember for Des Cheng. Tremendous effort coming off that pancake that Tong Sin Picar. But USD kept its eyes on the ball and they made the necessary play to once again pull away with an eight point advantage. Ang players ng Green Archers, you know? As always, you play yourself. I mean, Luna, of course, on your screens. Cheng. That's Rivera with the reception. What a play. What, what a, a misdirection play. play. But USD able to save it. Easy over for LaSalle. The lead is eight. Make that nine after a touch call on Pacres. Down to eight. And once again, USD getting points off LaSalle's errors. But they have to be able to produce some attack points if they are to overhaul a nine-point deficit. 23 serving 14. And some, <laughs> siya, man, eh? oh, and some booze coming from the USD crowd now. As a service ace is delivered by Des Cheng and brings them 
to set point. It is a PLDT ultra fun serve to be exact and a 10 point lead. Balasal as always, when they have the lead, well not always, but more often than not. 15-12 kanina to. Yeah. Correct. Tatlo na lang yung kalamangan ng Lasal. That's a short serve this time. And then Cheng, probably the best set she's played individually, blocking, jousting, digging, and serving for the first set win. And Lasal is up on the board. But USD is going to try to fight back in set number two. Can't wait to find out what will be the adjustment for Coach Kung Fu. the final four of season 79 of the UAP Women's Volleyball Tournament. Match number 57 is between the number two seed and defending champions, De La Salle University, who got set number one over the number three seed, the USD Golden Tigers. As Boom Gonzalez, Coach Ronnie Magsanok will take us through the numbers. And once again, La Salle with a quick lead to be able to put pressure on USD. USD tried to respond. They cut the deficit eventually to just three. But once again, La Salle was able to build a very comfortable cushion in route to an 11 point win in the first set. Massive disparity in attack points. And look at the kill blocks. The best blocking team in the league imposing once again. It's double effort with their net defense. At uh, pati yung reception ng UST, hirap na hirap. Laban dito sa kubanan ng De La Salle. UST needs to rebound. They had to stay close, if not build the lead. Because in the first set, it was a wire to wire win. Ng De La Salle play the archers. Let, of course, let a stellar play. Let don't see Desiree Chen. One of the adjustments that we were looking out for is for Coach Kung Fu. And now he brings in Chloe Cortez to come in here in the second set. I think the absence, even in terms of our conversation, we haven't mentioned Riri Manessas a lot right. in that set number. I think that's key for La Salle, especially against. A Las uh, sorry for USC, especially against the Lasalle team that is keen on these open hitters of USC. Sa kano mabas na yung uh, ipen ng depensa ng Lasalle. Ang di natin nakikita yung tibay ng depensa ng USC sa net. Right now, this will be a total of 26 kill blocks in two matches plus a set para dito sa team ng Lasalle. At ang ating leading scorers, boom. That's reaching with seven wow. for Lasalle, Lauren with four. It just quickly going back to. Uh, the Vanessa's point that we're making, you know, and over, she's uh, tallied 20 points in her last uh, two games, 10 of which are coming from kill blocks, offensive blocks. So that's how big the number, and remember that big win against NU, that's how big a factor Riri Vanessa's is. At naalala ko yung game nila sa UP. Siya talaga yung, uh, kumbaga, eh, naging, naging bubor. Stopper, talaga. Oh, oh. Oh. At uh, she was able to overcome the challenge of Kat Bersola. Who was the best blocker before Meneses time. Sunod-sunod po yan eh. Bersola, Meneses, and then Majay Baron. We're still responding with first point. Tama. Si Riri, tama. 9-5 USD going into the final four. At the Lasal, 11 and 3. Last year they were also 11 and 3 when they won the championship. The year before they were 12 and 2. And of course in season 76, that 14 and 0 unfortunately not the pack na. That's the finals. All right, let's check in with Bea Escudero from Lasal. Boom and Ronnie, earlier as I spoke to team captain Kim Fajardo, I asked her what she hopes to grab from this afternoon's matchup against the Tigresses. And she said that aside from that win, she also wants to see each teammate of hers play their own role on the floor. She even followed up by saying that before the season began, the Lady Spikers were labeled as that young team in the group, but also that young team with so much room to grow and to improve as well. Entering this final four match is a year to show the maturity that they established, and she has no doubt that the Lady Spikers will continue to show that in the coming sets. Now for the second set, Coach Emil De Sos urges the girls to keep their composure and to not rush their movements. He ends it by saying that there, there may be a big crowd here this afternoon, but they just have to play their game back to you, Well, 
Okay, yeah, that's the reason why hindi gawon talaga ito si Game Fajardo na isang buong taon, ano, as you see a PLD team Because they really know that yes, they have a lot of youngsters and Game was going to be key for this team. 4-1 is our score, early timeout for USD. Ayan na, ang gabi yung mga Victorano, huwag mo ipahan ako yung spike game natin. Hindi ka lang open, pero bibigyan mo lang sa dos. Eh, dalawang malaki na kaya naka doon. Kaya nga lang laki nito, malaki. Kaya ang taas ng tanong ito, malaki pa rin yung black and black. Maliwanag na punto ni Coach Kung Fu. They have to be able to solve the blockers ng Lasal. JP Torres in the house para dito sa team ng UST. Uy, o nga pala. Huwag kalimutan. JP Torres, of course. The, the team that broke that uh, streak of FU three championships na sunod-sunod. Hindi uh, niya bang ito may alang kanina. Oh, Coach uh, Babayad. And then uh, JP Torres. And then sila naman nag-apat na sunod-sunod. Diba? Apat kayo, no? Apat kayo, no? Si Ejet Babayad. Many time MVP. Uh, one of my favorites all time. Oh, of course. As did Tiamzon. These are the types of plays na hinahanap ng UST. Kailangan makasabay ang kanilang net defense laban dito sa multiple attackers ng De La Salle. Let's check in with Angelique Mantor right now. Boomin Coach Ronnie, a while ago you have mentioned how the Tigers' composure will be the key in their match today. And indeed, it is one point thoroughly focused on by Coach Kung Fu during their trainings. Just like how their tendency of piling consecutive errors should be broken as early as now. Coach Kung Fu is not even going to accept the unfamiliarity of the atmosphere and noise as a valid excuse. As he even employed the yellow jackets to train with the girls. Frustratingly, Coach Kung Fu exclaimed, Kailangan namin kayo as the pressure does not only rest now on the shoulders of the seniors, but to each and every single one in the team. Hindi pa tapos at hindi pa pwedeng matapos din ang coach Ryan. Yan ang ayaw nilang mangyari ngayon. Tandaan natin, Cabanos, Cortez, those two players on the floor right now, and Pam Lastimosa on the bench. If they lose today, that's it for their UAP career. Tama yan. And they don't want that to happen. Exactly. They had to fight hard, fight even harder, lead down to two. Graduating students, including the uh, perennial spark plug, Joey Cortez, USD. Return to sender. That's what we were just talking about at the start of the second set. We in essence has to establish some sort of presence right there at the net. It's very hard to read the passes of King Fardo, but somehow you have to try. And right now, USD, which only had one throw block in set one, already has two offensive blocks. It is a set number two. So, Pam Lastimosa, out of that final 14, season 74. Chen is receiving. Sends it to the other side. Rasmo, Kapanos, Napaluhod, Laure, Napabalik ng bola. Well, right now, the battle is who's had, who has the better blockers, who has uh, the stronger net defense. And that's why I think right now, coach, because Lasal is already loading on these open hitters. Pantayado. Oh, yung mga katulad nila Francisco and Rivi might, you know, offset, oh, offset a little bit. And that's why you mentioned earlier that Cabanas and Vicar, they're, they're integral to yes, these yeah. chances against uh, Lasal because, kumbaga, eh, even na yung uh, excellent performance ni Pinto Hardarito, that's had a good adjustment by EJ Laure. She did not put too much power into it. Oh, speed. A long ball siya, oh. A little long ball. Kita mo sa palo niya, eh. Target. It's a difficult, difficult yeah. maneuver coming from Laure. Kung titignan mo yung katawan niya, papuntang cross court. But she went down the line, going to zone one. That's a serving. Fajardo gives it up to T. Her favorite spot. Vital. Dalawa, nagkahiyaan. Sabi nga nila sa volleyball, bawal lang ang magkahiyaan. Kailangan laging madamot. Mine nga, di ba? Mine. Kailangan laging madamot. This is rare actually. And in this type of uh, playing in the big stage, errors such as this has to be put to a minimum. Because right now, 
Back against the wall na dito may tuturing ng UST. Leading to win twice na Ben Salazar. They drop the first set and right now behind by two. EJ. Wow, Jumps on able to get a hand on that. Makandili, easy over for UST. What are they gonna do? They go in the middle. Francisco is sent back. One more try, open. EJ. Makandili easily takes it. Oh, the one to play, sent back by USC. Sheng. Makandili again. Sheng na naman. Wow. And she puts it away. And gets a high five from Coach Ramil. Best rally so far here in the second set. Unfortunately for USD, once again going in favor of the Dallas Alvin Archers. We're back for more Final Four action here in the UAP Women's Volleyball Tournament. Vowed to come back next year. But before you can even think about next year, your focus has to be for this game to extend the season. And Meneses has to be more of a factor, especially with the way this game is going right, right. now. Right. At ang major contribution will be on the defensive end. And hopefully, makapalo rin at makapatay ng bola dyan sa gitna. Averages 2 kill blocks per match. 28 kill blocks in 14 games played. Number 23 scoring with nearly 100 points scored for UST. And like I said earlier, 20 points in the last couple of games, half of them off offensive block. Right. So crucial as Francisco. This hit heads it to the net, correct? Coming from Team Francisco. Kanina, Talan, 5-4. One point advantage para dito sa team. Lang Lasal. And right now, this will be a total of a three straight points scored by the Lady Archers. I believe Coach Kunku has used 13 players already. So Correct, 13 players so far. He has gone deep into the well. Cortez with the save and the dive. And that point has to be half credited to the senior Chloe Cortez who did not give up on that play which set up EJ Laure's put away. Look at this. Uh, McCree hits the three play. Showing the effort of the senior. And from out of nowhere, the double effort of Chloe Cortez, enabling USD to convert from defense to offense and chin the gap to three. Good serve, Mahandili. And a safe return by Tiamzo. They open up to CC and that catches the line. This is a good strategy for these open hitters, Coach Roddy. If they're not getting through the block, which is so tough for your Lasal, they're trying for the long balls here. And once again, Chloe Cortez helping out that last point. Lobo mo ng konti, mas mata sa blockers. Pudgy bar, O bar sa saya, which by the way, is a skill. Hindi po accidente yan. Teka kaya. Oo. Pinapractice po yun. Balak, set back, open. CC too close to the net. Gets a reaction right there. Will they be able to save it? No. <laughs> Coach Kongkore is still smiling because nandun naman yung uh, tripling effort ng USD to keep that ball alive once again. The South net defense overcoming itong speed fire na si Riri. Or rather, uh, CC Rondino. And something that, again, maybe we wouldn't have seen last year. Tama yun. Mas kinong early part ng first round. True. Diba? Again, a team that started one and three. One eight of the round. And what a first serve. PLDT Ultra Fun Serve. 11-7. DLS is the number two team. USD is the number three team. Ateneo at number one and FEU. And that is going to be another barn burner tomorrow at the Mall of Asia Arena. Live on SNA. <laughs> Just a quick segue, Kutra. We've said that this is the most competitive and unpredictable season we've had in years in terms of the kind of competition and the way the games have gone right Do you, as we see Fajardo here going down the line and Laure rejected at the net from the back line let me ask you when was the last time you saw a team or two teams that started four and zero three and zero the other team UP and Emily, did not make it to the final four it happened. You know, final four is yeah. Seguro. Yeah, but both. Bihira. 4 0 yeah. and 3 0. Bihira, yeah. it, it says about the competition right. also midway how things evened out. It also proves uh, the saying that 
don't just have to start, right? but <laughs> yeah, you have to finish true. really <laughs> strong to be able to get into the semi-finals. Oh, that's in! And a bomb unleashed by CC. Uh, just a joy to watch. Oh, yeah. Napakaliit, pero tignan mo naman kung paano pumalo. The flight number 16. And look at the much. space that she had to operate. Once again, going to zone 1, going down the line. But they're still behind by four. The Vardo talking to Fernando Velarde right now. Oh, what we, we're not privy to what, uh, what was spoken about there. Lead is four. The car back in the service step. And I, I emphasize that, Coach Ronnie, only because you guys always talk about the key number to the final four. Eight, nine, the Bayo Maganyan. Eight safe cup for a playoff. Game. Yes. The four wins away. <laughs> You're five with a, It's just a testament up and down for UE Adamson. Right? The kind of competition. And, I mean, now that we get the final four going, we have to tip our hats off to all these girls, all the coaches, all the teams for really entertaining us all year with some fierce elite college competition here in the UAP. Eight teams lang yung naglalaban-laban. Eh. Seven games lang kada round. Yeah. Joy Paron closing the door. Yes, And again, the kill blocks. The net defense. Omnipresent para dito sa team ng De La Salle. Perfect timing for Majoy Baron. Sabi nga natin, reigning best blocker. At yep. ngayon, pumapangalawa kay Jaja Santiago. Just like that, it's back to a six-point advantage para dito sa green shirt. Desiree Chang back on the service deck. The lead again is at six. Nails out. Good read on that serve by USD. And I'd just like to make it clear. USD, they're playing well. Yeah, it's just that Lasal is playing on a different level. Yeah, right now, right now. Pero sa ngayon, para sa USD, they have to step it up a notch higher. So, so USD has had spurts, Coach Ron. Meron, meron. The ability of Lasal right now, as we see, is they kind of contain the spurts right, right. to that, just that. They hindi nagiging consistent. And again, tremendous first ball. And pag binigyan mo ng magandang first ball si Kim Fajardo. Now, now look at that pass. Pineke, quick set. Another point para dito kay Team Jamson. Celebration. Because they're in the lead by 6 right now. 15 serving 9. And a very deadly server on deck. Cheng trying to keep it alive. You are gone. <laughs> And Coach Ramil <laughs> laughing and laughing at the same time at the effort of his girls. Some things we would never see well, back in the day also for Coach Ramil, but the last couple of years has mellowed down also here. Uh, make no mistake uh, about it. The conditioning level of our athletes natin talaga. Kahanga, hanga. You know, no matter how the coaches have evolved here, in, in, we've had some a great set of coaches this year, Coach Rani. Oh, so, yeah. Of course, at the helm, of course, is Coach Ramir, what, working on his already going into the second decade of his reign. Siya pa rin ang yardstick talaga. Right. Masal High School and College for a time, right. diba? And again, wow. this time, finding the back line was Kiana D. And they maintain a six-point lead. For the Lady Spikers. We come right back with the C500 best play of the game here on SNA. And Kiana D in that opposite position. Silent but deadly. Very quiet. Willing to take the back seat to Chamson and Desiree Cheng. Pero pag kinakailangan pindutin yung buton. Kaya pa rin pumuntos for the leading scorer of the Archers. That's the thing, ano, Coach Ronnie? All throughout this season, you talk about Yavzon, you talk about Cheng, you talk about Baron, of course, but consistently, it's still her who leads the score, right? Silently. Meneses with a couple of points here. This is the point that we're trying to make. Right. It just changes things for USD. You depends on ang Lasal, medyo nagugulat ng bagya. And the Chloe Cortez now beginning to make impact plays right. on the defensive end. Very good reception. Enabling Meneses to score on that quick play. Leads to miss up five para dito sa De Lasal. She's always been a soldier for USD in her five years. Whatever the coaches need from her, that's what she's always been able Happy to do. Happy face fan. Right. An energizer bunny. D. Makandili. And an easy over. 
May open up masyado malapit. Oh, tight. Sinuerte ang UST doon dahil malapit yung set para kay EJ. EJ uh, Larry has already built that offhand attack. Napag naalanganin yung pasa, right. masyadong dikit sa antena, masyadong duluan. Kaya ang galaw, gamitin yung kanyang kaliwa para umatake. Kung so, anong paraan, ano? Tama, two straight points and eight points for EJ Lauren so far. Cortez. I serve. Cheng stops the ball. Cortez was there after serving Hinapol. But an easy over here. Lasal goes to Tiamzon. Cross court. Rasmo was there to pop it right back up. EJ. Cheng keeps it alive. Makandili. Makandili to Tiamzon. Pagkakataon para sa UST. Pinigay na naman kay EJ. Lumusot sa block. Bumalik sa UST. 16-12 is the score. Oh! a great one-two play but Marandili Ooh. saves it oh. and LaSalle gets the point but Coach Kung Fu is adamant and livid at the sideline right now tremendous rally between USD and De La Salle he was rushing our second referee let's look at that Ooh, that's tough that is tough to see from our angle Coach Ronnie what do you think? Let's look at it from another angle. Shadow Malayo from our rapids. And Coach Kungu is convinced after the replays that that already was a dead ball. And here comes Oliver Mora, our second referee, talking to Hernando Velarde. Bare naked eye, Coach Ronnie. Ang hirap patayin pag mabilis yung action. Pero bungang ito. Are they going to stick to it? They're going to reverse. They're going to reverse. And now it is Coach Romil's time to look at Fernando Velarde. And here's a replay again. Hit the ball. Hit the floor. It's so hard to look at. It's so hard to judge. Coach Ramil is this time complaining. Kim Fajardo, the captain. It's maybe a crucial point also, oh, Coach Ramil. Kasi aakyat sa nasa lima, instead bababa sa tatlo. And it was an incredible rally too, you know? Grabe yung rally na yun. It was a very smart dunk this, this might be a better angle. Oh, there you go. That's an angle that is better. Coach Ronnie, mukhang tumama sa floor. Kalahating bola, kalahating uh, Tama. kaliri. Tama. And kalahating cannot be. Tama yan. Diba? Overturned na yung tawag. Yes. It, uh, it is reversed. Looks like rightfully so naman, yes. Coach Ronnie. No? From that third replay, that third angle. Could be a turning point. Could be an emotional rally. Let's see who will respond. EJ. Fajardo sends it back. Joust at the net. Balik kay EJ. EJ goes cross court. Makandili says, I'm there. Kiana D. Oh. No! <laughs> Boy, emotions are high here. Let's listen to this crowd. Coach Kung Fu all fired up. This is a wise timeout by Coach Ramil to bring down the emotion of this game. Na puntos na ito para sa UST. You know, Coach Ramil is trying to put a stop at the emotional peak of this <laughs> game. Right now, this is the highest we've been, Coach Ronnie, if you're right. here at the Araneta. It's... Naliwanag yung paalala ni Coach Ramil. Utak muna bago emosyon. You cannot be carried away. Hindi Coach Ramil. Hindi pwedeng mangyari yun. Coach Ramil continues to park at Oliver Mora. He knows he's seen it all. Coach Ronnie, obviously he's he's coaching his 309th UAAP match, so he knows that this might be a crucial turnaround here in favor of USD, emotionally especially. Oh, Cortez was there. He did not get the ball. And finally, they're able to beat the defense of Chloe Cortez. 
Hindi making sure that they get this last point. Three point lead now. Yes, that breaks a four point scoring run for Rodito sa UST. And that last team, the point. Jams on serving. 41st ball. EJ makes something out of it. Makandili again, able to pop it right back up. Miscommunication. Easy over for USD. Riri, how crucial Smenes has been. And we mentioned it at the start of the second set, Coach Ronnie. Riri was a non factor in the first set. They dropped the first set. 25-14. Five points right now for Riri Menezes. Some kill blocks, some attack points, and that nice, nice, uh, rather, that last slide play cut the lead once again to two points. I think it's a lot. Nakita natin yung ngiti sa mukha ni Riri Menezes. Pinalik sa USD. The miss hit ni Palik, but it's a point nevertheless, and now that huge lead is down to one, and Menezes three of those five points here in this set and the bench of UST I'm sure even if some of these players like Cabanos and Patris and Lastimoso has not seen action today they don't mind because right now they are within slipstream of Lasalle oh oh and a rare service error today today ah tamaya tamaya back to a two point cushion para dito sa Lasalle first service error of UST wow. in the game Apat naman. So ito yung trabaho talaga nila yan sa kanilang two-week preparation. Balik sa Lasal. Pajardo. Balik kay Cheng. Rondina. Balik kay EJ. Return to sender. Critical points. Tight points. You have to be able to come up with this type of winning plays. And how big was that timeout by Coach Very Rene? big, very big. Now it is Coach Kung-Fu's turn. Ugunsanya, by the way, silently seven points in this match. Majority on kill block. Yep. It's nothing like playing at this uh, part of the year uh, and being in the venue as the energy levels and intensity levels go higher. And uh, we have another one tomorrow. Don't forget that Ateneo and FEU number one and number four. Our number three team and our number four teams. Our Ito. teams that are str who struggled at the start of the tournament. <laughs> to act to uh, no, accentuate your point, Coach Ronnie. Finish strong right. is the most important thing. Importante, nakapasok. Ah, great oh, anticipation yeah. there by EJ Laure on Kim Fajardo. Combining with Palek to deny an open look para dito kay Captain Kim. Who gets the credit here? It's EJ, no? Tanang kapal. Right, tama yan. Bumaba muli sa dalawa. Kalamangan dito ng Delasal. Ano ba pinakamalaki natin, Coach? Umabot kanina yan sa apat. Apat. Anim, 9-16-10. Anim, eh, diba? Yes, yes. It was 16-10. Then 16-14 nung nagtawag ng time Ayo. out sa Coach uh, Ramil dahil four straight points sabi mo nga. May Uy. red flag na yun eh. All the service errors of UST coming in this right. set. And Coach Humpo and, and, and Coach Yanni. That kills your momentum. Of course. Especially since Lasalle is able to get to the 20-point level here in the second set. Hindi man lang yung kabila yung nagsira. Hindi nahirapan. Oh. Oh. And Sanyo now with a three-point lead. Ooh. Wow, nagulat. Buti nagawan pa ng paraan. It stays with USD here. Coach Kung Fu. Uh, disappointed with that offensive play. Fardo will go for the offense. And they're not going to call that. They're going to call a point. <laughs> if Fajardo fooling the defense with an off speed. Hiningi niya yung ball eh. The trickery. Yes, hiningi niya yan eh. At ibinigay naman ni Duke. Off speed against the double wall. 
coverage was late. First point that Tongsi came for Hardo in this match so far. More importantly, a four point separation yes. and four points away from knocking in or pocketing set number two. Somebody went through the net and it is Vicar and that emotional high has already gone down. LaSalle able to pour a little cold water over the rally. And this was a play. the coach Kung Fu Kanina. I slide play yung Rani Atama. But that turned out to be an unforced error for Vicar. That's the trigger for Cabanas to come back in. But right now, LaSalle only three points away from having a two-set advantage. Laban dito sa UST. See how long this second set has gone? Yes, Lord, you know, yes. Long and exciting. As Shishi Rondina is not one to give up. Absolutely down to four. They were down by two sets. Laban si Enyo, they came out. Played with fire. Eventually overturned a two-set deficit. But right now, Shishi Rondina ang pulso ng UST, not giving up. Actually, when you think about that Enyo matches, or those Enyo matches, they were down one set the first round. Won the next three, they were down two sets in the second round. So they have comebacking abilities. Unfortunately, their service errors have piled up here all in the second set. Three of them coming in the second set, not going to help your comebacking aspirations. service errors sila. Five points ahead. Is that coach parang adrenaline bayan and bayan? The pressure din talaga. Meron yan. Nilikit yung Kaya nga sinasabi ng mga coaches, eh, huminga kayo. Well, LaSalle has space to breathe right now, Coach Ronnie. Oh, yes. They re-established six-point lead. Coming mostly from unforced errors ng UST. And that's a double uh, black eye para dito sa Tigresses. Six set points hawak ngayon ng Lady Archers. Combination play, and it works. They save one courtesy of CC Rondina. Makadili was still going to chase that, by the way. Hindi tayo magtataka. CC Rondina had two points in set one. And then Talek now. Mahardo to Baron. Kuha ng UST. Rondina will set up for this one. Fajardo to Tiamzon. And this time, two set points saved by UST so far. Not giving up, continuing to stay in the hunt. And I really believe that you cannot because if you lay down and die at this part, that's the next step you can do. That's right. 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 Let's get time out. Ang ganda na kapigol. Tawagin mo, tawagin mo yung setter. Time lang mo. Eh, yung galaw mo dito parang talaga hindi napapasik. So lahat ng blocker natin nakipinti. Hindi, hindi ko pwede mabagal. Baka pa dito. Ano dyan? Di ba? Eh, babagalan mo. Hindi ko pwede galaw. Eh, dito. Mas dito. Pinatarget mo. Sige, eh. Abuhin mo na. Sa'yo na yan. Coach Ramil chasing his 10th. Getting into double digits in terms of championships. Of course, nine championships, 15 appearances, and 309 UAAP matches. Yeah, some don't even get one. They even hindi nakakarating sa finals. Say, mahabul ng kanyang pansampuk. You said last year though was the toughest. Well, so far, last year was the toughest of all his nine championships. Right now, they are a set away from stepping into the finals again. USD with a great fight, a better fight here in set number two. But those errors killed them in the end. Killed their own momentum. But it's never over. It takes three sets to win a match. We will be back.
We're back inside here at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. 25-14, 25-20 is our score. DLSU with a two sets to love lead over UST in uh, this final four matchup of number two versus number three. And LaSalle is a set away from going back to the finals. So UST trying to forge, of course, a rubber match on Wednesday for the right to get to the finals. And they will have to do it the hard way from behind. Some highlights from an amazing set number two, especially from an emotional and action standpoint. And we saw a lot of uh, great plays offensively, defensively, great team plays, and great individual plays of our set number two. And really, the fans got into it in that set number two. They were always into it from the start of the match, but it really apexed, so to speak, in set number two. How crucial was that timeout at 16-14 by Coach Ramil to kind of calm down the girls, Coach Ronnie? Gifting yan eh for coaches. Eh. Yung calling the, the, the right ceasefire, perfect timing. And uh, I was able to calm the nerves of the Lady Archers. And eventually, we were able to pocket the uh, final na match or rather set point na hawak nila. Slight advantage para dito sa kopunan ng uh, Lasal sa service aces. Attack points lamang pa rito ang USD. But the block points once again working into play for De La Salle. And it has been a uh, not-so-secret weapon of the De La Salle Green Archers versus the efficient and multiple attackers ng team. Ng growling Tigers. Maron has nine points to lead De La Salle. Cheng with eight. Abot Ogunsanya with seven. D with six. Tiamson with four. Laura leads the Golden Tigresses with nine. Rondino with seven. Meneses with five. Three of them coming in that second set. Balak with a point. Cortez with a point. And They'll need more contribution from Meneses to try to defuse this defense of La Salle because right now. Tira pa sa akin eh. Oh, pahina. Yun that Tira is the race. And uh, I also have to emphasize that seven Air Force errors for UST, four of them in the end game. And that really hurt their chances to overturn the two point cushion na hawak ng Lasal at 16 14. From 16 10. Right. Yun na yun 16, eh. 16 14. Yun na yun, especially against a team that knows how to protect a good advantage. From GG. Of course, Katabe. Ng, uh, napakatagal ng uh, <laughs> cheerleaders uh, basketball, volleyball, lot of sport and uh, as I said in that last game you know, the Francisco name has really been uh, tied up to USD for a very long time so, nung direct nung tawag ko din no, 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 kalanog there's another flash here Yeah, that flash here at the left side, here at the Araneta Coliseum. He's still, he's still at it, actually. And now he realizes. Ayan, pa. Andi mo. 0-0, set number three, and Cheng gets it started again. And then, uh, of course, parang uh, literally, nasa spotlight, the spotlight. Cortez stays here for UST. That's off a thick fingertip and it bounces in zone number one. And EJ has been going for that, uh, Coach Ron. And let's see if EJ and CC can get going early here and try to push UST to at least a two or three point lead. Laban sa De La Salle. Put pressure on La Salle early. Because right now, what we're seeing of USD, nagahabol, nagahabol. And that's what Matuluyan. Point C.E.J. Laura, the first to get into double figures of either team. And as you mentioned in our pregame, her and C.C. coming up a 22-point performance. Right. 44 points for both of them against National University as we check in again, as always, with Bea es Escudero. Bea, go ahead. Boom and Ronnie, when asked what their biggest challenge was coming into today's game, they spoke with no hesitation that it will only be themselves. Given ample time to really reflect and look into every little detail of their errors in the past games, the Lady Cyclists mentioned that now is the time to put their best foot forward and to play like the defending champions that they are. But in order to do so, Coach Ramil de Jesus gives as a constant reminder to never let go and to keep the 
fight inside whatever situation that may be. With only one set away from securing a spot in the finals in Season 79, the Lady Spikers have no plans of slowing down now because the real battle begins today. So expect the girls to give the same momentum and to keep the attacks coming over at the green side. Back to you, Roman Ronnie. Especially that your team is a set away. Uh, there and uh, USD now with the lead 3 1 to start set number three. Riri Meneses earlier with a point, Balak with some contributions here. The middle players, Coach Ronnie, yes. as we've been pointing out, they have to do something here for USD to attack points and then an offensive block. I think it's one point lead, two point cushion would put pressure on the other side. They say, cooperating with the ball. That is out, so that means USD gets their biggest lead of, of this match. match. So, 4 1. And speaking of Uste, balikan natin si Angelique Mano. In the midst of a crucial set, Coach Kuhu is usually all fired up, but it was a sight to see him sit down and calmly, almost pleadingly, talk to his girls. Boom and Coach Ronnie, that could have been the pivotal moment for the girls, but a lone thought from Coach Rices. Yung support staff natin, nawawala. Losing sets means the team is in doubt of That's themselves, so coming to the third set, the support staff's presence should be more felt. Baka sakali were the two words that worked wonders for the team last game and will always be the springboard for them. In 30 minutes, maaring last game yun na kaya in 30 minutes, kailangan may bago kayong gawin and the girls take on the challenge in this crucial set. Boomin Coach Ronnie? Thank you, Angelique. Ang tumitulong eh, tama na yung isa. Tingin ang gagawin yung susunod. Lumalayo ng lumalayo yan, mahirapan kayo makabul yan. Okay, patay muna tayo ng isa. Isip muna yan, isip muna, isip muna yung penyo. Tapos yung pagpa-block, sa kulang block, hindi pwede. Layo-layo mo sa spa, sa bola eh. Diba? Go, go. Yung pong uh, balikan lang natin yung uh, report ni Angelique, ano, yung uh, linyang uh, baka sakali. That was from that last game yeah. against National University. Down two sets. Oh, his way of not really putting pressure on, on the team. Parang he said already everything that he could say. And then they said, you know, just put more effort. Baka sakali, makasukit tayo. And that comeback started with that. And he's trying to use the same uh, trick here. Remember, really, they're number three here. Odds are really against them. They have to win twice against LaSalle, and they're the lower seed. They're, LaSalle is expected uh, in this matchup. So pressure should be on the Lady Spikers. And I'm sure Coach Kung Fu is really trying to count on that and saying, you know, there's no pressure on us. Let's play our game. We have our game plan. Let's do what we have to do. We work for them against NU. Correct. And right now, I win here in the third set. We'll have the USD community explode. But now De De La Salle has to fight hard. They have to chase down what was once a five-point advantage. And who do they go to? Of course, once again, Fajardo goes to uh, Kim D. Diana D delivering the goods and the timing. As Majoy gets a cue from Coach Ramil. Biggest lead of the match for USD. Five at 6-1 and it's down to 6-3 now. Basang basa ng yu ng uh, De La Salle. Big pasa yeah. rito ni Cabanos. Very high set. Yeah. Enough time for the blockers to close down that wall. Look at Fajardo. Again, it's just open attackers talaga that they're babasahin. Oh, Alawa talaga yan. Keying on. Balik unable to put it away. Oh, Overpass. That's two, yep. Too close. Up. Coach Kung Fu asking for double contact. None given. RJ Rivera. And Kim will usually go for a quick here, and she does, but mababa. Oh, Uy, oh, oh. Tamaan sa tuod. EJ and Kiana in a collision. EJ is down and crying, or is that an ankle? He's holding on to an ankle. Or, oh. I won't speculate here, but it, uh, they had a collision, and she instantly cried. Uh, Coach Ron. Akala ko natapilok si Kim B. Then nakita ko agad nagbabog oh, no. He's pounding the pavement right now. Ay, it's the ankle and it's a full twist. But I'll always say this again, you know, you'll take the ankle over the, the knee, knee Coach, Coach, Coach Ron anytime. And I know she's, she's obviously emotional and crying right now because, again, the first thing that the girls think about, or any athlete, kayo, is that hindi ako makaka-contribute Hindi ako makakalaro. And this also happened in that match versus Henry. Pero sa dulo na. And the parents obviously are concerned. Uh, and 
And he's taking the life out of this Smart Taraneta Coliseum right now. A, a well-loved player by a lot of schools, a lot of teams, obviously. And you know, the stretcher is out. And the full twist of that right ankle. Matalasan kasi susubukan mong tumayo sa sarili mo And here's the thing, Coach Ronnie. That was same the same ha? ankle. And, you know, more than the pain, more than the pain, Coach Ronnie, it's the ability... It's the thought. It, the thought that you can't play yes. right now in this game. Obviously, if there's an extension, she w might be able to play, as you see, the emotional mom there. The dad has seen it all and he's experienced it all. <laughs> so Sana yan. Now, here's an interesting part. Time Lestumosa is in for the very first time. Remember, if USC loses today, that's it also for her collegiate career. So look at PJ Lauder, really just suffering. They're also icing her knee right now. And Coach Kung Fu trying to put a little bit of an organization here on the bench. He has to concentrate on the game. This can be a distraction for either team, huh, Coach Ronnie. This can be a distraction for either team. <laughs> the lead is with USD. I don't see that here now. Oh, man. The graduating and comebacking. Tama. Pam Lastimosa. What an emotional time for her to come in. Let's see if USD rallies behind this. And yeah, look at Lasal Merciless. Opportunistic thinking. They have to be. Eh. At saka alam nila. Eh. Pag binigyan mo ng buhay, merong, uh, meron ng rallying point. Eh. Nakita nila na yan. I'm sure they watched that game versus NU. That win by USD. They secured the next point right away. Cut the lead. Cut the lead to only three. They have to be. Uh, as much as they probably love and respect EJ and USD in general, they have to be merciless at the point. At this point. As Rontina rises and puts it away. The captain has to step up here. In set number three, the leaders four for USD. The drama continues here on SNA. Back inside the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Two set lead for LaSalle. Mayan Luna is getting ready to check in for LaSalle. If you just joined us, CJ Laure goes down on an injury, a right ankle injury. Here comes Chloe Cortez, one of the graduating players for USD. Can this serve as a distraction also of course, for uh, USD? Ito yan. Pwede kang mawala ng loob. Pwede kang mas tumapang. Tignan natin kung ano mangyari. Uy, the power and tip by Kiana D. Now this five-point lead down to three. Eight-five. The biggest lead was at six-one at 1.4 USD. Lasal taking two of the last three points. Laure goes out with 11 points. D has nine for herself. Over received. Pardo opens up to Luna. Wow, nice save there by Rivera. Long ball for Chloe. That was nowhere close para dito kay Chloe Cortez. USD has won a total of 15 titles so far in team history. Just behind the 29 of uh, the Lady Tamaraus. Dami nun, ano? Behind lang nun, ano? Over 14. <laughs> Rondina. Good intention, but this one is a little wide to the left. The two attack errors para dito sa team ng USD. That's the lead to only one. Rondina tried to swipe that ball away from the blockers. Rather, to the through the hands of the blockers. Cortez misreceiving that one and Coach Kung Fu is looking at the scoreboard. This is tied at eight all. Three straight errors para dito sa USD. At nakasilip na ng butas dito ang De La Salle. La Salle, the third winning is school in the UAP with nine total championships. We're smelling blood right now. Of course. 
Rendina goes to her launching pad. Makandili taking it. Luna touches the net. That is a USD point. May Luna could not control her momentum after Makandili and Fajardo. You see here. Serving eight. Go to the middle. This time, oh. pero napaganda para kay May Luna. No coverage para dito sa UST. Off speed against the two-man wall. Lasal equalizes once again at nine points apiece. Fresh off the bench, Pam Lastimosa. Would be... Her final game if they don't uh, end up winning in this match. The seniors are actually there. Lastimosa, Cortez, and Cabanos. Chance here for La Salle again. Luna adjusts Rivera. Keeps it in play. Cortez from behind. Maron. Good dive there by Pam. Rondina goes back. You see the defense of LaSalle, Coach Ronnie have adjusted to the back. Rondina again. And this time, she's looking for a check, none given. At dahil sa bantayado na ng LaSalle yung mga kanto, ngayon ang atake naman ni Sisi, eh, trying to swipe that ball doon sa mga blockers. Daddy Eddie, sana yung sana mag-tape ng sariling. Ngayon eh, naman, sariling anak ang tinitapean para makabalik. He knows a thing or two. Lati kasi boom, pag gusto mong mag-tape bago mag-ikaw Ikaw mo mag-tape sa sarili mo Sabi mo nga eh Buti nga ngayon, may pro-rap na dati, tape lang, diretso sa pala Sakit Oh, Rodina finds a way to attack that ball still Wow, what a point for you Parang smash na yung CC Rodina That was a running hit And look at that execution cutting from CC Look at this run Paano niya tinalon Look at the athleticism of this girl. <laughs> Unbelievable then, play. Vanessa slams the door. So we're tied at 10. And that is the case right now. She is in the spotlight. Wala yung katuwang niyang si DJ Laure. That's a good angle for Mayan Luna. Difficult cut shot. Top shot. Two straight points para dito sa UST. And really, we can say that CC Rodina has to really take over para dito sa Lady Tagusses. The running. And it's a double contact for Pam Lastimosa. I thought that that was an overpass para kay Majoy Baron. I thought so too, yeah. Ginawa na lang niya ng paraan, soft touch na lang eh. Kaya lang hindi nakabalaan siya si Pam Lastimosa. This is the tightest set that we've seen so far. First time also that we've seen USD hold a lead laban sa De La Salle. Look at how good, look at how good that uh, ankle is taped. It's so pa perfectly expertly done. Paano mo malalaman bo? Walang uh, wrinkle. Wala eh. Sanay na sanay talaga si Daddy. Saka mahirap punitin ng kamay yan eh. <laughs> Vanessa is unable to put it away. Chance for La Salle here. Rivera keeps it alive. They go to Pam. Pam! There's a net touch from a LaSalle player. It is from Kim Fajardo. She acknowledges it. Wow, how big was that for Bam Lastimosa? This is a huge emotional boost. In the emotional. confidence game. It's confidence bank for the super senior. But oh yeah. It's not just about grit. Yeah, look at that. You know what they say, sports is the best reality TV. Here <laughs> at Nothing scripted in this uh, in this game, none at all. Rondina, quickly to Ria, and again, it is wow. sent back via the foot. Ready to win. Cortez is slammed. Oh, what a point for Lasal. Perfect timing once again for Majoy Baron. Sayang yung put away ni Menezes, oh. eh. ganda play. It once again just proves that Lasal's defense stops in the lead. Cannot stop playing until that ball is called. Good by the referee. Kung ano kina kailan ginagamit pati pa kasali pwede yan. Two ball. Cortez saves it. Easy over for Lasal. We are tied at 12. Barons with a quick attack. 
Once again, Kim Fajardo going to Majoy Baron. Alam niya, mahinat si Majoy Baron. Aggressive. Majoy delivers, beating the smaller blocker. She's actually the first uh, player to be in double figures for La Salle at 11 right now at least. Majority is a kill block, see? Eh? Sorry, let me check that. D is at 10. Baron is at 11. There you go. The two players in double figures. Cortez also blocked. Vanessa's goes back to her. Again, going for the long ball. This one's a check ball right, that was right. called. Uh, USD hanging in there. Making something out of nothing. Nasa ilalim siya ng bola, pero... Oh, look parang. at that. Look at that. <laughs> She's putting on socks. How invaluable is it to have a father who's seen it all, and done it all? <laughs> Yan ang uh, da daddy na, acting Pete. Pa pa. <laughs> Majoy Baran with that running hit, beating the defense of Lastimosa, Palak, and CC Rondina. Well, he just gave me the look here. I was asking if he's going to play. It looks like uh, EJ Lauer is going to try to gut this one out. And I'll always say this about injury, especially ankle. Sometimes the injury looks worse than it really Mama is yeah. because, again, they cry right away and all that. <laughs> because the crying is not from sometimes the pain. It is from the fact that I didn't play. As Tiamson gives them a two-point lead here at a crucial part. Because lead para dito sa De La Salle here in the third set. We'll let the crowd soak this one in for a while. Chance of EJ. Boy, what the parents must be feeling right now, <laughs> Coach. What about Pam? Giving uh, good minutes to Coach Kungku. She scored one. Para dito sa USD. The lead is two for LaSalle. Stays in the USD side. Laure. Fajardo. T. Cut shot. Rivera will go to EJ. EJ launches and gets a point. Off the block point coming from EJ Laure. First point. Shins coming down with that ankle sprain. It seems to be a little bit of a problem with the lift. But other than that, technique-wise, the heart is okay. The heart is... She'll continue to play hard. And the, the fact that she's there, Coach Rani playing, I think the heart is very much okay <laughs> with EJ Lauro. Oh, that's a... That's an error waiting to happen for LaSalle. So we're tied again at 15. USD hanging in there, fighting for their final four lives. Two straight points upon the re-entry of EJ Laure. An attack point, and then a point coming off that passing error with si Kim Fajardo. I mean, how big is her heart? In the end of game, she refuses to be taken out. In this game, she refuses to be sent out the stretcher and... <laughs> Go to the hospital or at home. He's, she's going to stay and play it out. Cortez. Somebody touched the net. Wow. And USD regains the lead at the second technical timeout. 16-15. Parikan na bang sa Golden Tigresses. This is the injury that happened. Kiana D oversteps. EJ Laure re-injures the right ankle. I think this was an eight and four, our score. And of course, Eddie Laure right there. If you, okay, quickly, Coach Ronnie, you'll, you'll be the best person to say this, to, to answer this question. Just for the history of the younger ones, tell me about the quickly the career of Eddie Laure. How was he as a basketball player? A lefty, smooth, poker-faced, uh, incredible basketball athletic player. He is player. a consummate workhorse. Can give you the match of the points at napakati by the defense. Also an awesome rebounder and a very good locker room player. Kaya hindi naman tayo nagtataka, malaki na yung puso ng mga, mga anak. Kaya, Kaya, yeah. And EJ as they get a two-point lead, it's restored here. Courtesy of CC Rodina. Four straight points na ito para sa usted. McFree's instant replay. Yep. A two-point deficit. Third into a two-point lead. And the captain trying to rally the troops here in set number three. It is sinasabi natin kanina. Instead of playing uh, chase down volleyball, eh naman silang hinahabol. 
And that puts pressure on the De La Salle Lady Archers. But once again, the service errors, the unforced errors that killed USD in set number two. That can occur once again. Ditong deep, deep, lalo na dito sa ganitong parte ng laban natin sa third set. Pero makapatawad mo nila si EJ sa... Give, give, give. Meron tawag namin ko si set. Give, give, give. And a, and a rotation oh error. And that's an automatic point, by the way. Coach Ramil acknowledges it. Back to a two-point lead, and here come the subs for Coach Kung Fu. Bikal and Pakris. Is this Desiree Cheng? Yeah, they've been they've been working on Desiree Cheng for a while now, Coach Ronnie. He's, she's Meron not been... Heavy tape, yeah. Yes. Remember, she, she also is one of those recovering from an ACL uh, comebacking, rather. Pero yung area yun, parang part ng hamstring yun. We'll try to get a report. Des Cheng who has not played for a while here. And Maya Lulang also. Maya, Maya Lulang is getting some playing time as Rondina, the captain now, is humming. Rondina has gotten into double digits. And Ten again, points. An overpass. Para dito kay Kim Fajardo. CC makes them pay. CC and USD with a three-point lead. Laban dito sa De La Salle. Biggest lead of this third set was five at six and one. Mayet Zapanta, Mela Tunay, Kanina, Jesse De Leon. Si Mela talagang... <laughs> Grabe ha, Kanina bago, like a good two hours before the match. She was really, really very nervous, very tense about tense. today. As Bacchus is in. Picaro also, that two substitution, two Kala, player substitution. Kala ko boom, nadiliman siya sa ating dalawa. <laughs> Ay, hindi yun ang magtataka. Nahirapan. Bacchus has not had an impact so far yet. Rondina though, has been solid. Better blocking here, they go back to Luna. Paalik was there. Pinalikan si Luna. Libre, libre sa harap. At si Kim Pardo talagang pinalikan ang pinalikan si Mayang. Alam niya kakailanganin nila eh. Dahil so far wala itong si Desiree Cheng sa loob. You need another attacker na pwede niyang pasahan. But you also have to point out that Palik has really played well in you. Riri Meneses. You're right. Here's what Coach Romil is going to do also. He's going to put in the shell cob right now. Serving, which turns Kim Pardo to an attacker. another attacker. Right. The lead is two for USP though. Shout. That must be adrenaline too. It happens. I think I see CJ Saga getting ready also at the sideline for LaSalle. A very tight rotation para sa Lady Archers. Always one thing lang yeah. talaga. Pandiinan para te. That's been the trademark of Coach Kung right. Si Coach Kung Fu naman, iniko talaga niya ng uh, husto. Oo, kanyang rotation. 14, eh, naglaro so far. Ogunsanya with a quick attack. Lasal is still not out of it. And look at Majoy Baron. About to come in. Uh, this is only a two-point lead. USD has got to buckle down if they want to extend this one. This is a crucial point of the, of the third set. Nasa likuran na si Laure at si Sisi Rondina. Good first ball. Rondina! How about her? 11 points now. Slowly getting a rhythm. You have to admire Sisi Rondina. The smallest member of the top 10 attackers. A hard, high percentage hitter. Pero yung value niya, hindi mo masusukat sa basta numero. That's her number, by the way, 16. And that attack was tough, huh? She went left and then jumped right. At the opposite side. Hirap nun. Yeah. 
Luna is set back but it's still alive Luna na naman and good si Pacres pero puntos para sa Lasal down to one ang hinayang si Coach Comforon balik sa dalawa dalawa ito yung sequence na palitan Lasal's floor defense holding up Cheng is coming back for Mayang Luna she's wearing a brace right now she, she always does on that uh, on that knee so the report is, according to Bea Scudero, she suffered a little bit of the cramps earlier. Kasi grabe yung energy at yung performance sa first two. Kasi takbo ng takbo talaga. Siya yung atake ng atake. Oh, lalo na nung first set. Ano yes. na alala natin. Kinayod din. Laure, what a comeback for EJ. Coach Kung Fu applauding the effort after that Gatorade spike in the game. And they said that EJ Laure was the missing link between not making it to the semis and making it to the final four. They may have been right, but right now, they're still three points away from pushing this match into a fourth set. They're not yet out of the woods. 22-19, they're looking for an extension here. La Salle is looking for a final stint. And the mom, looking on, may be more nervous than anybody else here. <laughs> How crucial has Manessis been? <laughs> she celebrates. Big stop courtesy of Riri Manessis. And I met them a couple of games ago, both of them. And they're so happy that the USD is uh, back in the final four. The community is out to support also. Alis sa kalahating dekada yung inantay ng USD community para sa isang final four team. Well, when you put it that way, parang ang haba talaga, no? Yes. Sinabi mo kalahat <laughs> itikada. Ah, uh, here you go. Kim Fajardo on the attack of the opposite side. Oh. Not done ng De La Salle. Reversal of Rose. Fajardo delivers. But down the line. She, now that she goes back to the back line, she goes back as the center. They have a full front line coach running with Tamayan, Parot, Yamzon, and D. Very tall front line, critical reception para sa USD. That's a great strategy by Fajardo. To go to EJ Laure, why not? Try to test her, her mobility. Lead is down to two, USD trying to hang on. Okay, okay, sige. Nalimutan yung mali na yun. Kailangan na natin bumalik. Umarap ka na. Sideline, sideline. Umarap ka na kay Kim. It's a big moment, Coach Roddy, for USC right, right. now. Could be a potential three set points for them, or Asal can trim the deficit to only one. Which puts so much pressure on them, lalo another they're down two sets. And this is what Lasal always does to their opponents. Ilipat yung pressure sa kalaban. A lot, of, a lot of people saying prayers here at the Araneta Coliseum. Bandina with a faulty first ball, they go to EJ. EJ! That is an error of Kiana D who crosses the line. Coach Kung Fu is actually asking for double contact on that uh, play. Let's look at that. Not this one. Yung kanina. And that's the violation of fault on Kiana. Coach bottom Kung Fu is still having a conversation <laughs> with Oliver Mora. And the bottom line is three set points. How are ng USD? Sabi assistant coach Yanni, pabayam na. Riri with the serve. Fajardo. Miscommunication with LaSalle. Chance for USD. They go to EJ. EJ cross court. Makandili was there. Tiamzon. Saved by Rondina. And a set point saved by LaSalle. Terrific effort coming from CC, but that was not enough. USD looking to close out, looking for one good first ball. Para makapatay at makaatake. Tension levels ratcheted up. Di kinabutan kay. In final four, there's no question, Coach Rock. 
Miss receive, but EJ makes something out of this. Lasaldo on the attack. D. Bumalik. Oh, good oh, no. Bumalik pa sa UST. Nagawa ng paraan. Laure on the other side. It's still alive and at the UST side. Rondina. Cheng. Tianzon. And here come the Lady Spikers are down one. Coach Kung Fu still complaining about something. What, do, you, do you know what it is, Coach Ronnie? Not really. Also, Coach Yanni. They're talking to Fernando Velarde. But you have to play the next point. Yes. Lead down to one. Two set points saved. Young Lady Archers. A joy serving. Short serve. Abanos. Balike EJ. LaSalle with a chance to tie. D. Sent back. Joust at the net. It's still alive. Ooh. Oh, what an attack by Tiamzon. Was that a one-hand set yes. by Fajardo? Tremendous composure shown by Captain King Fajardo. Scramble play. Almost a one-point para dito sa team ng UST. No blocker in sight. And suddenly we're dead luck. Yeah. 24. UST now got to dig deep here. 24 all. And Balik. Wow. They get the lead back. And another set point for them. It was not EJ Laure, nor CC Rondina, but Cabanos went to Balik who delivered. Another set point for the team of USD. But Coach Kung Fu really trusting you know, Balik here in this match. And she has delivered for Coach Kung Fu. EJ serving. Chance for USD at set point. Cabanos calling the play. Rondina in the middle. Puts it away. And USD is still kicking. Listen to this crowd. USD and their hopes still alive from Gigi. Hindi na nanonood sa upuan. Nandun na sa may likod. Kanya-kanyang pamamaraan para makatulong lamang dito sa Lady Tigresses. At ang panalo dito ay ang mga volleyball fans na nanonood dahil meron pa tayong ilalarong set number four. Game. Reality TV, known as the UAAP <laughs> Final Four, <laughs> continues. The drama continues here. And we are on to set number four. Early lead for USD. Right. Coach Ronnie at 6-1. and one. The injury at 8-4 and four to EJ Laura just adds more drama to this game. She comes back. And again, credit to Eddie Laura for a fantastic... Uh, if any other teams there professionally are still looking... For a tape man, <laughs> available. he's available. Oh, but oh. in all seriousness, um, what did UST do right tactically, other than the intangibles of staying in there and gutting it out and having heart? Tactically, what did they do better to stay alive in this match? Well, I thought that one, their floor defense was solid. Two, their block, their blocking was also efficient. And number three, si Cabanos, hindi natin napapansin at nabibigyan ng highlight. But I thought that she was a very good playmaker, especially in the end game for UST. Going to multiple points of attack, lalong-lalo na nang wala si EJ Laure, and her teammates delivered, of course, led by uh, the fiery CC Rondina. And for a while, LaSalle imploded, ah. committing too many unforced errors, uncharacteristic of a champion team. But remember that they lost also Desiree Cheng for a time, while she was being treated. But right now, they have to understand that UST is for real, and they don't want lightning to strike twice because that's what they 
ng USC laban si NU in that comeback 5 set win by USC versus NU in the last match of the elimination round. At yun yung sinasabi natin na may panguhugutan. Meron. Na to, meron. But Cheng, by the way, has obviously become quiet. Stays at 8 points after exploding in the first two sets. So we are still looking at her. They are still massaging her during the uh, during the quarter. Sorry, not the quarter break, but the set break. So we're on to set number four. Two sets to one. Oh, team uh, seed number two against seed number three in the final four. Boom Gonzalez, Coach Ronnie Muxano, Mea Escudero, and Janique Mando. Direct Abbott Ramos at the helm of this live and exclusive coverage. Radio CBN Sports. Dadaan ka sa butas ng karayong para makarating sa Final Four. And what more do you describe? How more do you describe getting into the finals? Napakhirap makarating. A rotation error for USD. They were actually talking about that already prior to the start of the fourth set. Kanina pa ni Oliver Mora rinirimind yung USD. Now they give a free point to LaSalle. And speaking of LaSalle, let's check in with Bea Escudero. Boom and Ronnie over at the huddle. Coach Ramildes has repeated over and over again that the third set showed a weak LaSalle team that easily gets distracted by small things. Now, as mentioned earlier, Boom and Ronnie, the girls did mention that the biggest challenge coming to today's match would be themselves. And that was once again brought up by Coach Ramil himself, who explained that the errors are not with their opponents, but rather with the Lady Spikers. And he did urge the girls to make the necessary adjustments in order to avoid forcing another set this afternoon. Now, as they face the Tigers once again in set number four, the Lady Spikers were told that if they really want this, the girls will play for each other and not give this game away. And that is exactly what we could hope to see from all six on the floor. Back to you, Boom and Ronnie. And this is a good start for your team, uh, Bea, because this oh. is where they want to be, to be up 4-0 in a set number four. And this is something that USD was not hoping that would happen, because in the third set, they had the lead. very good early lead. But yeah. now, four-point hole early here in the fourth. To paraphrase Coach Kung Fu, it's like they wasted the uh, the momentum that they had at the end of that third set, Coach Ronnie. And now they're down four. Napakahirap habulin ng marunong magprotect ng kalamangan. Remember what we said earlier, USD has to build an early lead, put pressure on LaSalle, force them to commit, to commit mistakes. Na siyang naging storya, no storyline of third set. And they still cannot get a point here. They're down five. And now some subs coming in, or at least one. Pacres will come in. Let's see for Chloe Cortez. And Janique Manto will report at this juncture. Go ahead. Booming coach Ronnie from last week, EJ Larry had already experienced the same right ankle twist, but not as full as the one we have seen in the set that has been only on the same ankle but just like last game EJ proves that her heart can overcome any ankle sprain or any pain for that matter amidst balling on the court being a true fighter after minutes of icing her ankles EJ had already shaken off the sprain and jumped with her ankles not wanting to give up she's even supported by her father who had personally taken the reins in taping her ankle now this should serve as an example to the team as they extend this match proving that their hearts are the toughest part of themselves and it, should, it all should start by overcoming the slow start they have in this set, Thank you, Angelique. Ang natin. Caught on video lahat ng mga pangyayaring yun. But right now, as we fast forward here, USD gets a point off a service error. 6-1. This is where we were at in set number 3. Balik tag nga lang. Totoo yan. Right now, USD needs to fight back quickly. Try to score consecutive points right away. Kung hindi, ibabaw sila rito agad itong Lady Archers. Nessus has come alive the last couple of sets. And, and LaSalle seems to be stuck right now. Uh, uh, sorry, USD's feet. The players seem to be stuck right now. Coach Ronnie, but uh, it was. Does that happen? That, that emotion from the third hey, set? Toto yan. Parang toto yan. Kaya nga, kaya nga ibang coaches ang sinasabi. Not too high, not too low. Kasi 
Para sa young players, mahirap makarecover. And this is where the vast experience of Lasal comes in. Knowing how to bounce back. At para naman sa USD, understanding that it doesn't stop when you get one set. And this is an 8-1 lead by Lasal. Going into the technical timeout. Back inside the Araneta Coliseum. Kung saan po nag-nalaban. Uh, Ang uh, Golden Tigers is the USD, the number 15. And uh, the defending champions, and the number 15, De La Salle University, who are a set away. Getting into another finals appearance. A great Saturday crowd inside the Araneta. Tomorrow, we all go to the Mall of Asia Arena. Uy. For number one versus number four, Ateneo. Of course, the twice to beat team in that matchup. Um, and likewise, eight one. Oh, some men's competition, man. Of course, yeah, and you will play FU having uh, a okay. twice to beat advantage. The two and number three, right? And uh, their step ladder series. Oh, yeah. And how eight? We are nine one now. This is the biggest lead. Actually, this is the biggest lead of the match. Correct. And once again, Captain Kim. Finding the crease in the defense right in between two receivers. That's the best service you can have. Oh. Oh. At lumabas dito yung sakit ng UST. Nasa dulo ng uh, receiving, receive efficiency. And they don't want to happen in this critical time. And it's all service aces too. The loaded serves of LaSalle. Stay at the present. Stay at the present. Stay at the present. Uh, USC's got its work cut out for them as the Lasalle fans <laughs> celebrating this nine point lead. Belisa, no? Garo garo na? Yeah, talk about short term memory. Quick turnaround para dito sa Dela Sal after the turbulent third set. Aldo with four service aces so far in this match. Yeah, she's got a total of nine points. My goodness. And now another service ace. Now look at that. She grits into double figures. The highest scoring setter so far this really? season. Reigning best setter. Ten total points. And that's, and that's the lead. Oh, yeah. Wow. Baka season high to para kay Kim. 11-1 is our score now. At yung isang puntos ng USD. Galing sa error. error. One's out. Oh, huminga pa ng malalim ng konti. <laughs> Baka mali ang ring. Yeah, Rivero doon, no? Oh. Asmo will come in. It's time for digging. As Lare will serve. The good news for UST, though, is that this is in the first half of the set. Tama? Iba yung medyo may 9-point lead na dulo. So let's see if they can make a run here. D. Hinabol. And a free ball for LaSalle. Fajardo goes to Baron. Vicar will choose Rondina. Rondina. And this ball is still playable. Double or a combination play. Kiana D puts it away. Excellent tandem play run by LaSalle. Once again, Kim Fajardo regaining uh, her, a, her A game. And uh, that's a third set. Third set, maraming overpassing. That was a piston play converted by Lasal. Creating another 10-point bulge laban dito sa hamon ng US. The problem is even on the defensive end of that, that net, naging piston din. Kasi <laughs> nabenta yung, ano, yung fake. Ano, yung misdirection. Oh. Oh. Kung titignan mo, naka-scramble mode rito itong UST. Yep. Before CC restore sanity dito sa Opensa. All is not uh, lost. And that is uh, a ray of hope para dito sa UST. She carried uh, the Tigers through the third set when uh, EJ Lauder went down. 
Bago nagbalik si EJ dun sa dulo at nakompletuhin yung turnaround for UST. None of the seniors on the floor right now for UST. Fajardo. Tinulak pa kabila ni Kiamzon. Balik kay Rondina. Bumalik sa UST. Patres. CC again. That's off someone. Uh, the direction of the ball changed. Check ball. Lead is eight. Now the biggest lead they had to come back from earlier was six. six. Ang tanong dito, how many lives does this cat have? The Tigers have shown, have shown that they can come back down again, but this is a difficult situation that they're looking at. Lead still has eight points. And that won't help. She hasn't really gotten a, any kind of offensive no? rhythm today. Oh, she didn't. We scored the winning point for USD in that uh, NU. victory. Laban sa NU. And all part and parcel probably is being a baby in the Final Four. There's nothing like experiencing it for yourself. Oh, naman. Cece goes to her runway and that's out. And now, back to a 10-point lead as we go halfway through this fourth set. And we said it earlier after the first set. You can't make it a habit now always trying to come back because it's really gonna drink you. Kaya, kaya Bikar, kitang kita ni Ogunsanya yung plano ni Alina. And now the biggest lead. Reception problems, unforced errors. Really, yung first ball naging problema ng USD dito sa ating fourth set. Yun ang nagbigay ng napakalaking kalamangan sa De La Salle. Maybe through the efforts of Akin Fajardo. So much emotion at the end of that third set. Nakakapagod yun. Oh. Parang na-drain yung USD. Back to Cheng. Yes, and it continues to rub crumble for USD. 12-point lead at 16-4. And the faces of the USD Golden Tigers uh, say it all. There's an urgency there. You look at Fan Lastimosa coming back after the injury. First Satter down. Cabanos. Cortez, graduating students. I'm sure they're a little bit angsty right now. Not angsty, but a little anxious, rather, would be the better word. Because uh, their UAAP careers are slowly closing if LaSalle continues on this rampage. Uh, they're standing on a slippery slope right now. As the rampage of the archers continues. 16 4. And again, that service of LaSalle has really served them well here in set number four. Indeed. Kiana D. And, and they have exposed the weakness of USD, punishing the reception efficiency of the Lady Tigers. The lead is at its biggest. Trece Kalamangan ng LaSalle and Dada Beach. 17 points. Yon ang delikado. Yon ang mahirap eh. Yung kanina, 11-1. Mga ganyan. But still early in the set. 17-4. And again. Service ace again. Alam mo, pwede mo naman tignan kung saan mo dadalin eh. Pero yung kakayahan na madala talaga rin yung serve. Nang hindi lalabas, yun ang mahirap. Staying in the moment, sabi ni Coach Kung Fu. Practice yan. Ngayon ngayon, frozen under feet. Itong team ng USD. Down 14. Kim Zon again. And another faulty first ball. And a free ball given to LaSalle with a 14-point lead. Double quick there. Fajardo says relax. Cheng says I'll take care of it. And EJ giving everything she has on that chase down. USD. Left to be defending, scrambling as LaSalle's championship form came into play here in the fourth set. How about this girl? Who's yeah. Buhay? I mean, it's not a lack of effort for USD at this point right now. Yeah. LaSalle is going to a different 
place well done. Kasabayan nila ng third set eh. Naiangat pa nga nila ng isang deal talking about USD. Medina gets a point finally for USD. Their attack point. Their spike converted by USD. Leading right now is Medina with 14 points. In the meantime, Lasal has five players in double digits. As Tid Francisco is back for USD. Final stand here as LaSalle is six, point, oh, six points away from another finals appearance and for Coach Ramil. It will be his 16th. Cheng. It's wide. And we can afford a mistake here and there. A rare mistake here in the fourth set para dito sa De La Salle. Pero Bakers doesn't lead. Hawak pa rin dito ng Lady Archers. Last ditch effort. Tangka rito ng USD. Good serve by Francisco. Chang again. Good decision by EJ. Coach Kung Fu applauding that. Not giving up. As Maya Luna will come back. Maybe... Maybe this might be the last time we see uh, Des Cheng here in this match. Depends on how this one goes. They have a 12 point lead. In the next game, Papahinga Mini, Coach Camilla. And Kanina Pangalu Minama Sahi did Salikud, I mean, in the hood and hamstring area. Oh, well, this is the problem when you are behind by. A huge double digit spread. Six, six, I believe, yes. Six service errors in this match for USD. Lasal has seven of their own. Now, a problem. 20 points on Lasal D. Oh, boom. 18 point lead. Lasal starting the coast here, set number four. Ah, good reaction by Cabanos. Luna, off speed. The Nessus is there. Cabanos will open up. CC is back. This girl will never give up. She will never stop fighting. Wala sa DNA ni CC Rondina yun. I saw Coach Ramil. Mr. Rachi said after that the uh, off speed. Ayun sa fit ni Luna. Good first serve, or good serve rather, by Rondina. And an easy over for them. Laure. That off the fingertips. Okay, 11. Nakakatake, nakakapalo si CC at si EJ. Kaya kaya pumuntos ng USD. Unfortunately, dun sa mga unang labing dalawang puntosan, eh, hindi sila halos nakaatake. And he's sat down by Coach Ramil Muna. Michelle Cobb will be back, or is back. Cobb will set. Back set to Luna. That is Ooh. in. Catches the line. They Luna with three that. points. They needed more separation. Dahil misan, maski malaki yung lamang ko. Pag umahabon yung kalaban, meron din ang side 11 eh. Oh, pasok sa utak ko mo yan. And uh, medyo tuloy-tuloy yung protest doon ng USP. Lucas back on the line. Serving 21-9. Oof. Move out. Makandini back. Kapanos back serving. Kapanini. Perfect first ball. Luna pumreno ng konti. It's a free ball for LaSalle. Cough. That's miscommunication between her and Baron. Uh, just couldn't get the ball high enough to her spot. The USD at least getting headway. It was at 19-4 earlier. USD winning uh, seven of the last nine points. But coach, no matter what happens here in this fourth set, USD is going to get a major ovation from their crowd. I know that. And deservingly so for the year that they've had. Right now they're still fighting, but Lasal is three points away from another championship experience and a, uh, appearance and another chance 
to defend their title. Season 79, top setter right now once again. Turns into an attacker. Team for Ardis scores another vital point for Lasal. 11 point lead for the Archers at 22 11. A soft serve by Luna. EJ. Oh. It's out. It's way out. Two points away. Nabiliyan pa rito ang UST. Oh, the net touch. Net touch on Lasal. Sorry. Three, so three points away pa rin. Lasal. Coach Kung Fu continuing to really encourage the girls to just fight it out from the sideline. Bob underhands it. Fajardo. Vanessa sends it back right away. Makandini will set Tiamzon. Masyado malapit sa net. Ginawa ng paraan. But that's the problem. Yeah, I was too close to the net, Coach Ronnie. You can see that Don Makandili making that play happen earlier para sa Lasal. Pushing off a teammate just to make sure na maayos yung pasa niya. And then in the return play, net touch para dito sa UST. Lasal is only two points away from winning this match and once again getting into the title battle. Yana D is back. Closers are back for Lasal. And we are at match point here. Lasal, the number two team, is a point away. And we'll wait for an opponent. Coach Kung Fu goes to his bench and shakes everybody's hands. That's uh, him saying congratulations to the whole staff for the job that they've done this year. Are also doing the job that they had to do and get back to the finals. Spackless. Lasal keeps it alive. Panos to Francisco. Saving a match point. Saving one of 12 match points. Nahawak ng De La Sal. Coach Kung Fu continues to work the sidelines. Alam mo, pati yung demeanor ng coaches throughout the years. Yeah. Natututunan nila yan eh. Exactly, yun yan. Kung ano yung effective para sa group of players na hawak nila for that particular year. Kaya nga nag-evolve itong dalawang coaches nito in a way. Fajardo, that is in! And Lasal goes back to the finals. And we'll wait for an opponent either tomorrow or Wednesday to defend their title, Coach Ramil. In his 16th appearance and looking to add to his nine championships, that is the LaSalle side. If you look at the UST side, Coach Kung Fu, a spectacular job this year bringing UST back to the Final Four. Pam Lastimosa, Alex Cabanos, Chloe Cortez says goodbye to their UAP careers. And it was a pleasure covering their UAP stint and this is the winning point coming from Majoy Baron. Even in a miss hit, Majoy Baron converts the final point for Lasal. Lasal safely into their ninth finals appearance. USD will kiss their final four stint. There's Pam Lastimosa in the middle. A great show of sportsmanship. Some of these players, by the way, all from UST when they were, were in high school. Yung iba naman, nasa UST, yeah. naglaro para sa Lasal. Lasal Sobel. Nothing to be ashamed of from the UST community. Pam Lastimosa. The fact that she is back playing the sport that she loves is already an incredible achievement for her. And of course, the hosts, the tears will flow. And but nothing to be ashamed of for of USD this year. What a great run. And they're back in the Final Four. And it's something to work for and towards next year and the years to come. They already have built a springboard. Correct. The core will remain. Some players will graduate. That's a given. But they were able to get that breakthrough this year to get into the Final Four. But the moment belongs to the De La Salle Lady Spikers. And Bea Escudero is with our Gatorade player of the game. Who is it, Bea? Boomin Ronnie, I have here with me the Gatorade player of the game, our team captain of the Lady Spikers, Kim Hart. So, Kim, congratulations. So, bago nagsimula ang set four, ano mga sinabi mo sa team para ma-motivate sila na tapusin ang laro sa fourth set? 
Um, kami yung fourth set, syempre, kali kami third set, medyo pangit yung naging result. Pero maganda naman yung mag naging habol. Pero siguro nung fourth set, bago mag-start yun, sinabi ko sa kanila kung ano kami. Inermind ko sila kung, kung ano yung mga kaya nilang gawin at kung sino sila. Lalo na kung sino yung team namin. Alright, so mahaba ulit ang break bago magsimula ang, for, ang final series. So now as the team captain, how will you lead your team to prepare well for it? Um, siguro for us, kasi tapos na. Tapos na lahat. Semis. Back to zero ulit. So game one, finals, dun kami magpo-focus talaga. Um, siguro paulit-ulit kong i-remind sa, sa, sa team namin kung sino kami, sino yung team namin. Alright, so Kim, do you want to invite anybody to to watch the finals next week? Okay, uh, uh, bye guys! Ano lang kayo ng finals namin next week in... Happy birthday kay Lolo Narding and Mel Gahelo sa family ko sa Batangas, Jazz, Pia, Lali, Nicole, Pia, Albert, Lala, Hele, Mami, Bernie, hello! Alright, we have that our Gatorade player of the game, Kim Pardo. Back to you, Boomin Ronnie. Thank you, Pia. Congratulations to the Batangenya and the former UST standout. We say goodbye to Alex, Chloe, and Pam. For their UAP careers, we say goodbye to UST this year. What a run for them. Your final words on the Golden Tigresses this year. And Coach Kung Fu also. Well, I thought, as I, as I mentioned earlier, breakthrough year for UST. They just fell short here in the Final Four, but they have a good core coming back next year. And Coach Kung Fu will have his learning curve once again be put to a test as we enter Season 80 after the finals At of the Season 70. At nakaranas. Na na last year after they bowed out, sabi niya, the promise is to get them to the Final Four this Which year. Which they did. Promise delivered. So next year, tignan natin kung ano yung papangako ni Coach Kung Fu kami. Papangako namin dito, <laughs> eh marami pa kami laro yung papakita. Yo. Dito sa ating bracket, nauna na ang DLSU sa, late, sa Finals. By the way, the Finals will start on Saturday regardless of what happens tomorrow, okay? Saturday and the Lady Spikers will have a week to rest, prepare and